Hello everyone, we are back to do our downtown Hendersonville test. Um, fortunately, Carl Sandberg is still closed, so we can't go back to the normal route still. But um, we are going to start from the Playhouse, which is just right across the road, so it's not like it's any different. But um, see if I can enable it here. Is it going to let me enable it? No. Okay, let's get out on the road. There we go. Yeah, so, you saw my last video. Not great. I'm... <laughs> this version has some issues. I would not recommend it going wide at all. Uh, it's... I, I mean, maybe it's just because I live in an area with curves and just a normal city. Oh, this is... Like, this right here is great. You... Perfect human. Exactly how I would do it. Actually, well, it actually... Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna refrain from saying that. It's a little bit close to this curb, and there's a good chance it's going to go over the curb right here. It, it definitely would. It was headed right to, toward the curb on the previous uh, on the when I was driving this direction. I was going right into the curb. So as soon as this light changes, okay, that did fine. I thought I was going to cut the cur uh, curve a little bit sharp, but it did fine. This pro this version has a problem with curbs, staying in the lane, running over rumble strips. Uh, and actually he's run off the road once um, and getting too close to cars and, and guardrails see right here there's no reason it needs to be on the right side of the road here that's unacceptable this is not a curvy road and this is also the speed not acceptable to go 9 over right here not acceptable that's a disengagement. This is this is a bad version, guys. The speed the speed control sucks. It goes too fast. I can't control it. There's no like chill mode or anything on this. I I'm I would not recommend this version. It, there's so much to like about it, but there's enough wrong in the areas that matter. That's just it's not good. It messes up. It, it sucks because some drives are phenomenal, and like all the drives I've had this morning just suck. They're not good. I hate to post a video because it's almost a waste of my time to edit the video. It takes a lot of time to edit these videos and not, and to have one, and it's still slowing down for blinking yellows. <laughs> uh, they still haven't fixed that. Okay, you don't want this version, guys. I'm sorry, you don't want it. You don't want it. If you're on 12542, if you're in a curvy area, you don't want it. If you're in a city, get it. It's better. But if you're in a curvy area, don't don't get it. It's not good. Yep. Unless you do a significant amount of highway driving without curves, uh, then yeah, without significant curves, then yeah, get it. Definitely better there, but there's... I, I'm disappointing today. I was so happy in Boone. I think it's because it's just not my normal test route or something. And maybe since the last time I tested all that, it was significantly better, but... I, I just... I don't know, like, this stuff is better. See how it was relatively smooth for the, the handle that traffic situation? This is not better. This is so timid. This is like, it's like, it's like afraid to get through the roundabout. And it might be the salt on the road. That could be. But that's not enough of a difference that it should matter. It really shouldn't matter that much. Yeah, the, that, I mean, that's disappointing. I'm not going to go 9 mile an hour on this road. I don't care if other people are that is unacceptable to me there are police cars all over this road i don't care five over is my limit on this road this is fine right now say 48 max that's insane on this road i think to make just make my sanity a little bit better i'm gonna go ahead and adjust the, the speed down and actually even better I have 40%. We're lowering this to 20%. Uh, see how that does. Because I can't, I can't stand the for, uh, it going that fast anymore. A 40% offset is not for me. And I'm gonna have to adjust the speed. I think the speed adjustments. I'm just not even gonna count as interventions anymore. Because for other people, they would be fine going nine over. For me, I'm not. If I don't have to pay for the ticket. The Robotax can go 9 over. I really don't care. 
<laughs> if a robo taxi goes nine over, guys. I, if I'm the one not having to pay the ticket, let it go 20 over. I don't care. As long as it's safe. But as, as long as I have to pay the ticket, I, I'm not letting it go nine over the speed limit. And we have this person that's going three under the speed limit. So I'm just like, from a safety standpoint, it's always safer to go slower when you're alone. If you're on a highway and you're going slower than every, the traffic around you, you are the safety issue. But yeah, I hope, hope this doesn't come across as too, like, complaining, petty and everything, but it's just, I'm just disappointed. This, this, this is like, Maybe if I did this again on a different day, it would be great. But today is not good. I'll go ahead and upload this video and just quickly cut it through and everything, but I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. This is a regression here. Uh, it should've just got, it, it seems to, it's funny how it respects the yellow line for that turn, but going around curves, so like, nah, I'll just go over the yellow line, I don't care. It's, it's so weird, like, it's like, Again, I said it's trained off people who do not drive in the mountains. You cannot go around curves. It's like it's only trained on flatland people. <laughs> I, I say this because I know someone from Indiana that just could not drive on these roads. It's so flat and straight there. As soon as you come to a curve, they, they, they slow way below the speed limit. And they just are just scared to go around a curve or go up a hill for that matter. And it's just like... It only took data from people who aren't from this area driving on curvy roads. And this is a regression. I'm... Okay. I did press the accelerator to get it to start going. But it just... This type of stuff is it's so weird because I'm like, there's so much good. And then it's like, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, this, this, that's worse, that's worse, that's worse, that's worse. I'm like, guys, <laughs> like, wow. Um, like, I guess it's slowing down for the railroad track, which is fine, I guess. No, um, then it needs to speed back up. Like, why is it going 23 here? Why is it getting in the gotten the wrong and because I'm close to my destination this is this is terrible this is this is sad I, I was excited for this version and now I'm probably gonna have to deal with it for months this way I don't know maybe maybe it's just today like it seems to be day of, like maybe it's like a bad memory state and it's just not performing well I don't know also, I guess I'm just not going in here this morning because we're 15 minutes early. <laughs> and it's going to go over speed. Boom. Oh, yep. Yep. Okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> we're just going to main... We're just going to go ahead and... Reset to our other route here. Yep. It's not going, okay. I, oh, no, no, don't fly out into this road. That's something the previous version would do. Okay, we're good. So that's an improvement. Well, I need to do it multiple times. I'd say it's an improvement. It seems that uh, it seems to check now. Previous version, it would just fly out in the road without checking. Like, which to me is a safety critical disengagement. You don't just like zoom out into a blind turn. You can't see. I couldn't see, what well, I mean, the car couldn't, could see, and yeah, that's where the bumper cam would come in really good use. I think, I think they're they're adding bumper cams to the Cybertruck and the Model Y, I think it's going to come to Model 3 as well, eventually, and they're going to use that for blind entrances. It seems inevitable that they're going to be required by federal regulation to do that. Perhaps not this term, because, uh, term. Uh, because Elon uh, has quite a influence right now, but um, perhaps in future terms, that would that would come back and will be required. But we'll see. Okay.
that like took forever considering I still went coming. I wonder if this version does better when it comes to um, canceling and changing nav points while driving. Yeah, I was thinking about going up to Asheville to test this and that's definitely not happening. I'm not... Okay, I can't... Okay, so clearly that answers that question. <laughs> it was trying to park. And see, look, it's going in the middle of the road. Look at this. That's not acceptable. This is why I'm not recommending this version go out. I posted on X right in between videos that uh, my I do I do not recommend this version going out. It shouldn't do that. See, it does fine here, but why? It's, it's going over the yellow line again. Like to me, it never needed to do that before. There's no reason it needs to do it. It will do that even with oncoming traffic with a car on the other side of the road right next to you. So like you're getting uncomfortably close to that other car. And, and it wouldn't go because they thought this person was crossing the road, but they are stopped. And this other person needs to turn. See, it's going over the yellow line again. I did, but it never needed to do that in the past. It just doesn't need to do that. So why is it doing it now? A Model 3 isn't a giant car. It doesn't need to need to go over the yellow, yellow line to do that. Like, this is good. Why can't it do that every time, though? And let's see if it's gonna fix this problem. Hey! Oh, there's an improvement. Now, I'm not gonna cancel it and redo it because it might screw it up. But to get it to do that was such a pain in the past. Given this guy, see, this is appropriate to go in, on the yellow line. That was perfect. There was a guy in the road, so I gave a little bit of extra room, and it didn't even go over the yellow line. That's see, that's the thing. It didn't go over it. Now we're not supposed to turn. It says no turn on red. If it starts creeping forward, I'll have to disengage. Well. Okay, it seems to be like this time it uh, stopped. But yeah, there's another disengagement. It still doesn't do no turn on reds. At least it fixed the parking lot, though. You'll see all the you'll see all the all the, all the good stuff. All this. <laughs> nope. And then it has to, it has to be on the right side. It says reserved parking. Well, technically all this is reserved parking, except the to the left is reserved all the time. To the right is only reserved during the week. So it says Monday through Friday. The, the bright side of a robo taxi is that it can just drive around while you're doing whatever. But however, it needs to know where to park. I'm like, it seems like a, it's a rather hard problem, I guess. It has to be able to read signs and understand context and all that stuff, which is, that to me is what AI3 is just not ever gonna do. It's not going to be able to read a sign, and then maybe it, maybe what it does is it sends that back to the cloud, processes it, and then sends it back down. It just sends a quick image of like, okay, I recognize the sign, send it, okay, interpret the sign over the cloud, send it back to me. And then, because uh, it can like, as long as it can do that within like a couple seconds, you're probably good at slow speeds. But at high speeds, I don't know. Um, it has to be able to interpret like a road sign correctly. And at highway speeds, maybe that's not a good solution. We'll see. I don't know, guys. Uh, not a good... Not good. Uh, I will um, probably be doing Test Route 2 um, on the next video. Again. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.